love some Animal Crossing. What's your goal today? Uh, beat the next gym. At the really, I think we're already in the town with the next gym, so that I should so. be pretty easy, pretty quick to do, and then. Uh, hopefully after that, get to the next area with the next gym, you know? Yeah. I don't think we're going to be all the gym leaders today, but trying to get through... No, because you haven't done the part yet where, like, the, you kind of get off the main path of the gym leaders, and there's, like, a lot of, like, lore and Team Galactic bullshit. Yeah, I haven't gotten to that yet. Hello, doggo! Eldritch. Eldritch. Oh yeah, I remember we found him. Did you like drool over me? Why am I wet? Why? What did you do? Cat. I'm gonna be a sailor like my daddy. He's a real man among men. Even the sea doesn't scare him. Oh, but a gym leader would be cool too. Byron is so awesome. Is His name is Gym Leader Byron, the next gym leader? I thought you beat Byron. I don't know, this kid said Byron. Yeah. I I don't remember. Do you wanna set sail? No? I can go to Iron Island though from here. Iron Island. My brilliant instinct tells me there's a secret path somewhere in the city and there's treasure beyond the path. What? Okay. His brilliant instinct tells him. Do you have a it, brilliant I mean, is it instinct? That, is it that treasure right there? How do I get to it? What's the secret path? I think you have five badges now, right? Or is that my trainer card? Yeah. Yeah, only three left. Yeah. It's weird, because this is a seaside town, so you figured this would be a seaside... The men oh, with a steel, the steel body. It's a steel gym, though. I don't remember what's strong against steel. I think I went in that building last time. Hey, Angie! Yes, I did. Hey, what's up? Welcome to Pokemon, where I dress as Snorlax now. <laughs> this was a Christmas? This was a Christmas gift, yeah. so I decided it's a... she has adopted a... it for all Pokemon streams. Yeah, I decided it is a Pokemon streaming uniform now, so... Um, okay, I can't remember which buildings we went into and which we didn't in this town, but I'm just gonna go ahead and assume we went in all of them. <laughs> uh, we uh... got it from my workplace. Well... My co-worker got it for her from my workplace, which is yes. Barnes & Noble. Yes. What's strong against steel type? Who should I have at the front of my party? Me. Do you, anyone remember? Isn't it dragon? Oh, is it dragon? I don't have a dragon type. Pokemon steel. I mean, I got sparkle. I don't remember, but let's find out. I mean, I had a Gyarados, but I put him in the box. He went in the box because I had to level up people. So, oh, I see. No fire, any? fighting, and ground. Fire? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Spicy is fine then. Is the spicy's holding something? You found picked a up berry. a berry. Okay. But yeah, let's go. Let's go fight How's this guy. How's it going, Angie? Ooh, but yeah, I had a very busy today, day today. I don't know why. I just felt very motivated, so I got a lot of stuff done that I had been procrastinating on doing. Yeah. Like, obviously, I I spent the first half of the day doing, like, a lot of work emails and stuff like that. But then I took down all the Christmas decorations. Which, you know, I gotta say, I feel like I probably did that sooner than most people do, right? Yeah. It's only the, the 3rd of January. And, uh, all the Christmas decorations are already down, so... Still sick, stayed home, had energy to organize the pantry and kitchen. I miss having a real pantry. Back home at my parents' house, I had a pantry. Yeah, at our apartment, we don't really have... I made, like, a makeshift pantry by putting shelves in the, uh, the, uh, washing room where the washer and dryer are, yeah. but it's not a real pantry. It's a fake pantry. Um, and it's kind of, like, Crowded. Yeah. Oh wait, 
I... Okay, I... Lightning is probably not good against him, huh? No. I thought I had Spicy out here. Yeah, you know, I really like Christmas trees, but it takes up just enough room in our apartment that makes it annoying. Yeah, it was just... the Most of the motivation was just because of the limited space. Because now that it's gone, it was like literally the Christmas tree was right next to us here. Yeah. Uh, where we're sitting, so having it gone is just very nice. So, it's super effective. Oh, baby. We have a one bedroom. It's a one bedroom. I think it's like 900 square feet, which is pretty nice. It's not <coughs> small. Like, we just want one more room to make it like a streaming room, you know? Yeah, we're in, we're in Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, but we would like a second room because right now everything is either in the living room or the bedroom. Basically. Speaking, this is, I'm completely off topic. Oh. Jeff is 0.1 viewers away from getting a billion. Point one? Yeah, oh I was like, we God. gotta get Jeff there. Yeah, he's so close. He's our IRL. We gotta support. For real. He messaged me earlier, it was like, so close. I was like, damn it, Jeff, how did you get 2.9? Right? Okay, what are these things? Oh, God! Okay, I see. Those <laughs> ears. You can't see it, but just below the camera is our, one of our cats, and her ears were like... Whoosh. There's elevators in here. -da 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 -da. I always feel like when that music plays, there's just gonna be like a little mime guy that comes out, <laughs> yeah. and is like... Like ah! an Emily in Paris. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Okay, do all these guys just have on Anonyx and that's it? Or Steelix? Is the first one to steal Ix? I don't know. I just <laughs> wanted to say, because he's the steel type of Onyx. I was not even paying attention. Go ahead and use this bite attack. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're really nice. Yeah, it's, I like them. It's worked really well for us. So. My uh, only complaint about them is because we stream a lot of single player games together. So we have to have, um. What the heck is the software called? Uh. The digital mixing board to split uh -huh. the audio to our two headphones, and sometimes it gets a little wonky. Yeah, the dream will be when we can each have our own setup. Yeah. It'll be really nice. So then I can carry Ronnie through Monster Hunter. I don't know about that. <laughs> As in, I don't know if I will, would even play Monster Hunter, but. Oh, you would. You would, you would make me. Mm. <laughs> get to work all day with my Pokemon and battle sometimes. Alright, so these guys. So these are nothing. Yeah, we just have the one PC that we're using right now. We have laptops and stuff. We used to stream on a, a laptop together from our PlayStation 4. Yeah. Yeah. New Monster Hunter for PC comes out Wednesday. Big hype. Ian's very excited for it. Like... I would probably hang out for it, but I have D&D &D that night, so I won't be well, around for it. Well, I have D&D &D too. I'm gonna go after D&D &D and stream it. Oh, you're gonna stream it after D&D? &D. I'm off Thursday, unless... Interesting. My... Hellscape of a so when I get back at like 11 p.m., you're gonna be yep. playing Monster I'm Hunter. I'm gonna be dressing up my Palico. Are you guys all playing it together? I don't or? know. Oh, okay. Cool. I mean, Matt might jump in. Leo will probably jump in. Mm -hmm. But everyone else is too responsible. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're like, man, I have a real job. We're like, well, we're the artsy ones. I have a real job. What does yeah. that even mean? What is a real job? Um, it's one where you make enough to live alone. But, like, that doesn't mean anything, though. It does. Because, like, I have a real job, but, like, in comparison, the work that I do on a day-to-day -day basis is not. Yeah, but a real job lets you live alone. Oh, he flinched! His head is so god dang big. Why is it? Why is his head that big? <laughs> is his head that big? You think this be is that why he looks like a um a spinal column? Like did he flinch both times? I think so. Oh my god! You use Thunderfang on my electric lion? He's not very smart either. Does not seem yeah. like the best of the move. It seems like a poor choice. He flinched again? What the frick? Well, I'm just gonna keep this guy out here, even though it's taking forever, cause. So yeah, right, that so meal. Like well, okay, the peri, the peri peri meal was pretty good. 
I do have to say, there was like a lot of seasoning. Oh yeah? Like, it was strong. I mean, it tasted fine, but it was, it was very hot. Yeah, mine... So, we tried these... I bought from the supermarket. I always see them. They have, like, these pre-made easy meals, right? That you can, like, just throw into the oven or whatever. And they had, like, these seafood ones. So I got Ian a peri-peri shrimp. And I got myself a basil pesto yeah. a shrimp with, like, potato and gnocchi, I think it was, or something like that. Um, I have no idea where I'm going. By the way, I'm just stepping on things. Okay, I have encountered a dead end. But on the serving size, oh no, left something to be desired. And then two, you say the seasoning was too much. I thought mine was seasoned good. It wasn't good. too much, but like if it had any more of like that dry seasoning, I think my stomach would hurt later. Mm. Like in the moment, I would be very happy. Yeah, I thought mine was seasoned. Oh, look at him. look at him start showing off his guns. He's getting he's a working man. They're gonna start singing uh. Heck is the song? I don't know. I'm Young man. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. The YMCA. <laughs> the YMCA song. There you go. What? But that's only like their second best song. Young man. Well, now that you've discovered through Just Dance. The... In the Navy. In the Navy. That's a pretty good one. Hmm. All right, the Onyx is going down. But yeah, I'm very excited for Wednesday. Yeah, me too, for D&D, &D. because it has now been like two and a half weeks since I played a D&D &D game, and I'm just like going through withdrawal symptoms. Yes, yeah. I mean, I miss playing it. Um, I'm, I mean, I've hit the point where I'm more excited to play my next character than I am to play my current character, but also my campaigns are way longer than yours tend to be. I mean, we're over a year now with yeah, our for current Matt's. one. For, for Matt's one, yeah. yeah. So, and like, I think I kept mine, I ended mine because I kind of was like, it was my first campaign that I ran and I was like, okay, I see now what I need to like not do in the future, basically. <laughs> you said that reminded me of the Mewtwo meme where he's like, I see now, it is not, uh, like, your appearance that makes you human, but, but how you act. And it's because it's from the Pokemon movie. Okay. The, you, the way you said it, it just brought that to mind. Where they're like, well, you never guess who said this. Not Jesus, not motherfucking Gandhi. Mewtwo! Mewtwo said it, yeah. I mean... His story was real effed up. Yeah? I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to watch they remade like they reanimated it. Oh, really? With like 3D animation. Yeah. But anyway, with my campaign, I feel like, I think I ended it at, like, I think we played for, like, eight or nine months? Yeah. Maybe mine, but then I ended it because I was like, I don't know, I could just kind of tell I wasn't Before. feeling it as much anymore. I w the thread of it got kind of lost, but I was a first-time DM, so it was like, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, and now I'm like, I feel like I've played out most of what I want for my character in this current campaign, so now it's just a matter of, like, getting the story stuff done. Yeah. Yeah, no, like, I'm enjoying... I always enjoy Matt's campaigns. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think now I have hit a point... Well, like, I... You know, they're working retailer in Christmas, I was just so tired that, like, I didn't really care about the character, like, being interacting with the world. Which is what usually happens when I get really tired during D D games. Yeah, you um, like you're like, I can't mentally be here anymore to like yeah. participate with so the So I'm game, ready to but... be back for that, but then I want like I said, I want to play a character who's like a small shopkeeper and the way he builds his shop's inventory is to go out and find rare items and sell them. Okay, so like that video game. Was that video game? Oh uh, Moon something? Moonlighter, I think yeah. it was called, yeah. But that's also, like, the plot of, like, Dragon Quest IV or something. Oh, okay. Like, one of the guys you get so, on your team is a guy like that. I think, char so your character's thing is going to be, like, you're trying to collect items, right? Yeah. I always think that characters like those are really cool and they make a lot of sense for a D&D character, right? But how do you as a DM make sure that you are giving that character, like, the magic items that they want, and the rest of the party isn't upset that you're, like, taking well, magic items away. That's the you know? fun part of it, is when you get to fight with your party about stuff like that. That's but the fun also, part. But also, like, 
I try to make my characters very generic sometimes. So like, like you know, you're like, here's the world you're gonna play in. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, alright, so like, here's my reason to be here. I'm down for anything, because any adventure could lead me to a magical item. Okay. Yeah, so that I'm just invested. You know, he's just in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um... How many times I level up? No, not despite the lower level, but you're oh. very close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, one more level and you're gonna have Rapid Dash. I'm gonna, she... I'm gonna probably put her... Oh, it's super effective, but it barely did anything. Um, I was gonna put her in, like, spicy closer to the front when we got closer to the final battle here. Yeah. What about a good old flame wheel? Is that effective? Oh, that's a little bit better, it feels like. None of your stuff is effective. Just give up. The music in this game does go so hard. It does. No breaks. <laughs> it does kind of look like that, yeah. He's just uh, actually generic black belt fighter, I think. Generic black belt fighter. I mean, he has a name, but you know. Um, hey. Hold on, let's let's take a little like heal. Oops. Do some healing. Get sparkle. There's like one group of people in this game. One is an, an uh, inspector. And who was the girl? Remember? We saw like the inspector and we were like, what the hell? And then the one girl looked like Carmen San Diego. Uh, yeah, I don't remember what she was. And then though. later they like tag team battled us and we were like, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're friends. They hang out. I hang out. Do you? Yeah. I'm gonna do the parody of uh, 16 I know it, but instead of working out, they're like, I hang out! And it should be me in the background shoving Doritos into my mouth. Oh boy. I did buy Doritos this time. It was actually a really great, in my, one of my classes where we had times like, it was like how to use uh, technology for teaching. Mm -hmm. So you had to make like a video. And Caitlin was trying to film her video and every scene I would wander in with like a different item of food and just eating it. Because okay. we were like walking around campus to film stuff, and I would just walk into like the nearest place and buy like a Rice Krispie. And just start eating, eating it in yeah, the background. Yeah, in every scene. Nice. Yeah, that, um. That reminded me how when I went to the. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, yeah, thanks for stopping in and saying hey and, uh, have fun cleaning. It can be fun. <laughs> it can. Sometimes you, know, you put in like a sometimes. good podcast. Yeah, sometimes it makes you feel really nice, you know? Um. But yeah, when I was at what? <laughs> the episode of The Simpsons where the crazy cat lady, when they clean out her house for her, it's like her house is a metaphor for her mind and she's like a genius after that. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, but at the grocery store today though, when I was checking out, there's the guy was like helping pack my bags. And when he got to the Cool Ranch Doritos, he was like, oh yeah, you know what's up. And I was just like, Okay, <laughs> and he was like, Cool Ranch is the best flavor, and I was like, you're very hype about this, and I'm not even getting them for That's you. That's also just... empirically false. I was like, they're just, they're just, uh, oh, is this it? Maybe. Is this the end? Have I done it? It's a different color. You're a different right. color. Let's, uh, move our but yes, around. The best Doritos are sweet chili. Oh, yeah. I mean, those are pretty good. It depends on what I'm in the mood for, honestly. Yeah, because those ones can be too hot if you don't want a hot thing at that moment. Yeah, like, I, I'll, I'll choose my Dorito flavor preference depending on how I'm feeling that day. So. Oops. I feel like I should ask my sister if her present ever came. I want to make sure Ponyta and Spicy are fully leveled up. Hold on. Do I have... It, this is dumb, but does it, would it make that big of a difference if I had like a rare candy and I like used it on Ponyta to make her Rapidash before I went this She's fight? She's already halfway to leveling up, so it's just a waste, I think, at that point. Alright. I was like, does she get like sick? Whoa, I'm going all the way up, baby! I skipped like three floors I didn't even see! The heck was that? There's a lot of other people that I didn't 
even encounter. And I mean, like, Clefairy would get fucked up by the attacks, but if you just get the right metronome attack, you're just like, one hit everyone. Is this the one chip leader who always yells, I'm rock hard? <laughs> Maybe. No, I think that's Brock. I see you've defeated my son. He still has much to learn. Rorik? I, Byron, yeah. will accept your challenge. This head is very wide. Uh, I guess. Maybe it's a chin strap. No, he just kind of looks like he has a wider face shape, I guess. All right, fuck him up. Oh, all of these are super effective, actually. Let's do, let's do beat up then. Him with the beat up, spicy. Drop that beat up. Drop that beat up. Get it. Get it. Get, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Top of the morning. <laughs> uh, you know what? I don't even know what that's from. I don't even know if that's I, yeah, from. I don't know where that I don't original even know. sound is from either. I don't even know who that is that's doing the get it. Well, get you're it, combining it, two sounds Top every of the time morning. You, Top you, of the you, morning. Yeah. Because oh, well, there's one he goes like, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Yeah, baby. Yeah, and he goes, uh, oh. uh, but then there's one where he's like, top of the morning, top of the morning. Okay. He confused me. Well, he created a weird <laughs> twisted dimensional room around you. How dare he? Harmony. Hey, Harmony. Happy Monday. Hello. Hello. I woke up from a crazy nap. Seven to six. Bad. A casual, casual seven hours. to six. I feel. Did you also have a hell day at work like I did? Oh, gross. That I don't like that for you at all. No, no. actually, you were just like, yeah, I'm just happy to be here. Was it crazy? It was. You said it was crazy busy at Barnes and Noble. When I went, I went grocery shopping today. It was insanely busy at the but grocery store. But it's also partly crazy busy because we have a lot of people out with them. Mm. And that's not their fault. We, you know, they've got sick. Yeah. But in the moment, you're like, I hate them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm glad that it wasn't, like, super busy or anything for you. At the very least. After working that long. Yeah. Almost 12 hour work day. That's like the work day that the people in, like, the film industry have. Yeah. Oh! Oh, what the frick? Yeah, I hit you with a earthquake. He just killed me. Spicy, no! Okay, well, I don't even know who to send out. Maybe Pistachio, because he's the tankiest. Thanks, Pistachio. I can I can earthquake him back with Pistachio. Here we go. Earthquake v earthquake. How about this? He nodded in understanding. He's like, let me do my thing. Here we yeah, go. 8.3k. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I barely... We did 5k over plan yesterday, which is like 14,000, and we also had not scheduled people like that. Also... How do you like that? Huh? How do you- Oh, I should have revived Spicy so he get experience points. Okay, I can do it. I can do it next. Who knew? I actually end up using Pistachio. They came Best... in while you were sleeping? Best tedium? What? Why? At 11 p.m.? No. Was there like an emergency or something? <laughs> Maintenance! They just yell <laughs> maintenance at 11 I just PM. imagine, like, they walk in and, like, like a British comedy, they're, like, strolling around and, like, opening cupboards and, like, screwing things and stuff, and they're like, they're, they're like, like, what, what are, are you doing? doing? And they're just like, maintenance! Oh, pipe burst, so they had to come in and fix it. I mean, that still doesn't okay them to just walk into your apartment. Yeah, what the heck? Why is Ben so goddamn big? <laughs> He's a, this is just, they got a bunch of big-headed boys. I don't know, I'll try Earthquake again, see if it works. Hi, Luna. Oh, damn. He almost died. 
come yeah, deep sleep. I feel like in. I would also panic if I heard my door opening and then somebody yelled maintenance really loud. Yeah. It was the, well, 11 p.m. We're usually both awake, but oh. <laughs> and then they scared Keo. I know that's so sad when they scare the cats. Like Gizmo hears the slightest sound and she's in the closet for like the rest of the day because yeah. she is not coming out. But then you get the nice little present where you forget she's in there and you go in there to get like socks and you're and like Mwah. Yeah, she always gives them when she's hiding in the closet, she always meows when you come in, so you'll be like open the closet door and you just hear like Mwah. like really quietly because she's like, Oh hello. Oh hi hi Luna. And then there's Luna. Who only meows at you when her food bowl is empty. And she's come or, to let you know or that she's when hungry. she's alone in the bathroom. Or when she's alone in the bathroom and she, she just, just has to scream into the She walks into the bathroom and just goes, Meow! And then you look over. You no, know, like, then you go, what, Luna? And then she, like, peeks yeah, her Yeah, like, the out. wall's there and she's, like... <laughs> she's, like, looking out and then she goes back into the <laughs> bathroom and then she goes, Meow! And just screams. Why are you, why you do that? Huh? Huh, Luna? You're so crazy. What? Funny ties evolving. Yeah, why do you do this, Luna? They had a harmony. She's like, release me. Release me, peasant. Oh, yeah. Repetition in the more recent games has a little bit of a glow up, doesn't it? Yeah. Don't they? I feel like Rapid well, Ash looks a little different. The well, yeah, one. there's the fairy type one, but I feel like just the also the gen general design just looks a little different, right? It gallops at nearly 150 miles per hour? What? What? Excuse me? Main blazing furiously, <laughs> it races as if it Let's, let's find out how fast normal horses go. Not 150 miles per hour! Smart strike. I don't know what that does, so let's see. It's a seal type move. Stabs the target with a sharp horn. Oh, I want this move. So, yeah, they go. The fastest horse ever went 40. Zero tackle. Went 40. Yeah. Jesus. And so, Rap Dash is actually very scary. Most Pokemon are scary. Can you imagine you just hear this it. sound that's like, and you're like, what is that? And then it just goes like, like, fast you. Breaking the sound barrier. The mind badge. The mind badge. Who am I now? Thanks. All right. So first task of the day done. Got the mind badge. Now the next task is to at least or get the strength. second badge. Oh, okay. A strength though that lets me climb up stuff. Or I think it normally it lets you push rock. Oh, okay. Like, the bigger rocks. Like, yeah. I have the one that can break the smaller rocks. What's the one that lets me climb up stuff? Oh. Okay. How do I get out of here? Oh, jeez. This seems, like, unnecessarily complicated. Couldn't you just make one? <laughs> All right. Well, we dug. We dug too deep. Bye, bye, losers. I'm out of here. I'm a winner. Oh no. Good guy. Are you gonna fight me? I'm not healed up. That's how the first game used to be. Like in like early early Pokemon, you know, you would like come outside of a gym battle where you had, like, a Pokemon with, like, 2 HP left, and then your rival would be like, we're fucking fighting now! Hey, He's you! Like, you dummy! I've already fought that gym leader and won one. and healed all my Pokemon! Now you're gonna fight me! <laughs> and you're like, excuse me? You're rude? You can at least wait for me to heal up my Pokemon, too. Look at this squad. We do need to put a water type back in. I haven't caught another water type that I like better. Yeah. You also, at I some might point, put... when Harmony is around, you... Oh, two other GMs now have COVID. Oh, no. We Yay. could trade Haunter to Harmony and get them back so you have a Gengar. That's true. Around I know you just boy. really want Gengar. I want so... him to be around. I just want a Moonstone so I can get my... <laughs> I just want to moon someone. No! 
What's that one song? Who, who sings it where she's like, I feel like fucking someone. What song is that? It's like a really popular song. It's also a TikTok sound now. Oh, it's a TikTok sound. Well, that explains why I don't know what it is. Um, but I, I just heard it in my head. Doja Cat, Kiss Me More. Mm. Um, but in my head, I heard you being like, I feel like moon and someone. <laughs> I wanna, I'm gonna moon someone. Gramps, look at his hair. All right, now I'm out of here. Okay, I get it. All right, well, all right. <laughs> I studied the evolution of Pokemon. We just studied the evolution of their hair. All right, there are some Pokemon that evolve and others that don't. What makes them different from each other? Do immature ones evolve into ones that are more mature? If so, what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? Perfection. Are we to assume that legendary Pokemon of Sinnoh are completest creatures? This is where you three come in. There is said to be a mysterious Pokemon in each of the three lakes of Sinnoh. If we can obtain data on them, I may shed some light on how the process of Pokemon evolution works. Need help from each one of you on this grand undertaking. Help me find these mysterious Pokemon. Yes, these three 12 year olds. I need you to do this. <laughs> I mean, the U.S. government usually asks 12-year-olds to go in the battle. What are, you, what are you saying? I didn't get a Pokedex. And who was that... Who was it that bolted from the lab before I chanced? Give them one! But that's water under the bridge. Seeing Pokemon with our own eyes is important for you and becoming a better trainer, too. You bet, Professor! This will add to the Pokedex database and help it advance your research. Hmm, I would have made you all go regardless. Now then, there are three lakes! Yeah, if you want to trade after this. Yeah! You should split up and investigate the lakes individually. Lucas, you go to Lake Verity. Yes, sir. Ian, I want you to investigate La Lake Acuity. Lock. He's going to Lock Acuity. Almost a snow point. The road there is harsh. I need a tough trainer to go. Oh. Well, what about me? And that leaves Ronnie with Lake Valor. The lake is between Valstone and Pastoria, if memory serves. I already went over there. Earthquake? Has it stopped? Are all of you unharmed? Let's go outside, but be careful. I'm concerned about Look, the I city. get the room shook, but literally nothing moved, so. I know, right? That kid didn't even react in fear. He's just chilling. I, get, I know, the bookshelves didn't even fall over or anything. Look at them, they're all fine. Luna's so grumpy. He is. Why are you so grumpy? Whoa, that tremor, that wasn't a natural occurrence. You don't even know about tectonic place. Oh, they say different things after the quake. Oh, hey, old dude and kids, something big just happened. Old dude and kids. You left already? What do you mean? If you had talked to the people in there. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. You mean in the library they would have said something different. Yeah, because I had already talked to them. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't see the message, yeah. I was very focused on what I was doing. A huge explosion! Explosion! Explosion at Lake Valor. He's not like Joey. Boom! <laughs> Go like around that. black wagon. Use explosion. Explosion. Wait, that's my lake. That Ian can't sit still. Ronnie, I'm worried about Lake Valor. However, I have no idea what's taking place. You must find out before you go. I can't stress this enough. Don't get in over your head. We will try to join you as soon as we inspect, inspect Lake Verity. What happened at Lake Valor, I wonder? Press Y and do the link code. Two, five, five, four, three, four, three. All right, old man, we get it. <laughs> Yo, Ethan. How do I, how do I do it? Press Y. Well, do I have to like, Open a menu or something? That is weird. Nothing happens if we press Y. Do I have to... I hit Y! basement of the Pokemon Maybe you Center. haven't done that the first time, so you can't do it. Oh, yeah. That's true. Boop, 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 boop. 
Right this way! Teela. Okay. If you have paid I, the I do. more money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, no, I don't need a more detailed explanation. It's time to go into the global room. Well, now you can just go outside and press Y. Or just press Y here, maybe. I'm pressing Y. Oh, it's not working. Okay. Do I have to go into the room, or can I just go outside now? I don't know. Let's see. I might I might have to actually go in there, but we'll see. Talk to the lady. Well... There we there go. go! Okay. Uh, I'm global. assuming global, yeah. And you gotta do... Gotta do the song... The song... Cat... Blah, cat... Blah. Connecting! Okay. Thank you. Sure. I, I, I got a save because I beat that guy. Okay, can you read it to me? Two, five, two, five. Four, three, four. Oh, that's easy enough to remember. That's actually Harmony's social security number. No, it's not. Communicating. I don't like communicating. It's gross. Hi! Hi, Harmony. Okay, now what do I do? Oh, no! I tried to leave, apparently! Sweet baby caramel? <laughs> okay. Okay, what do I do? Do I... Do I, do I push a button? What do I do? I don't know how to do that! <laughs> ah! What happens if you hit call? Oh, okay, that's a good point. There you go. There we go! Okay, okay, okay. So I'm sending a farty. Farty! <laughs> Have fun with this. <laughs> oh, they're pretty. Oh, so cute! I know it's a proboscis, but the, it looks like a very long tongue, and it makes me sad, scared. <laughs> okay. If that thing came up and licked me, I'd be like, ah! Mm. Bye, party. It, it is, is shiny. I, I actually like that color better. Like, some of the shinies, I don't like the color of the shiny better than, like, the actual color of the Pokemon, you know? Yeah. But, like, I, I actually like that better than the normal color of that one, I think. Yeah, I, I do too. I like that color palette a lot. Oh, and I have not caught a beautiful eye, so... It has an aggressive nature? What? With its long, narrow mouth to drain their fluids? Excuse me? This is a vicious... This is a vicious creature? The heck? He's evolving. Oh, no, wait. Oh, yeah, you don't want to quit yet. I'm just gonna hang out in here, right? Ponder. <laughs> he's becoming Gengar. <laughs> yeah, he's in the process of becoming uh, the Gengar deep inside of him. Like, he's currently singing Mirror from Mulan and staring into the mirror. Okay. You, you, that's a funny joke. It's, I feel like, but that's, like, too sweet and emotional for... Um, uh, the movie version is, the so Aguilera version goes fucking hard. Oh, okay. Well, I just meant Gengar seems like he'd have something a little... I don't know. Are you saying Gengar is not a soft boy? That's what I'm saying. How dare you? <laughs> that is definitely what I'm saying. He's literally made of gas. He's like the softest thing there is. Okay. Is he made of gas? He's not a solid thing? He's a ghost. He can choose to be a solid thing. He can be a solid or a gas? Yeah. Because then you can't hug him. There he is! Oh, look at his big grin. Look at his big mouth. They're farty. <laughs> He's so happy. There he is. It hides in shadows. It is said that in rooms where Gengar is hiding, the temperature drops by nearly 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Caramel is offended that I traded him. <laughs> oh no! Did it say that? Or are we roleplaying? Party is like, okay. I've grown into my prime. So then I just click on this. Okay, yes. Then I leave. Oh, I'm going out! No. <laughs> okay. I can't remember where I'm supposed to go now. Oh, they're the gone. Lake. I'm going to the lake. 
Or spelunking. Whatever you prefer. I mean, I could do some spelunky. I don't think I really did any spelunking last time. Okay, so I'm going over here. Which means we want to go back to Veilstone. But, where I could go to this island? What the heck is this island? I'm sure the game will take me there eventually, right? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, am I going to that resort area? Is this where that resort was where I couldn't stay? I don't remember. Doo 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 doo. Doo 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 doo. Hey! Oh, hey, it works today! Yeah, the flexing thing wasn't working a while ago, but it's back. Yeah, the just flexing wasn't ICMD. working yesterday. I was very sad about it, because I tried to do it when I uh, started the stream, and then I didn't get to see the beautiful flex. But yes, hello. Happy Monday, I guess. Happy Monday. Thank God, I needed to see it. <laughs> exactly. My brain tried to make a joke like Happy Toyota Thon or something. Like Happy Hyundai. <laughs> happy Toyota Thon. <laughs> I love the memes that are like, How dare you wish me uh, happy Honda days when you know I'm. What's the other one they do? Uh, I don't know. Oh, nice. I actually got my five years of service certificate today. I was gonna old. say, Ian got an award at work today too. Hottest bookseller. Hottest books. I mean, you should get that before. So, I've been in the Barnes and Noble. I know. Five years. Uh, have they? Okay, I don't know if you like can talk about it, but like, are they gonna give you guys like a bonus or anything? Because it seemed like the holidays were going really well, right? And that I, was like the condition. I have no more information on that. Okay. That's literally all I know. Is maybe. I was gonna say, I thought that was, like, the condition. He knows his way around a shelf or two. Exactly. True. Actually, there's, like, three... So, you know, most of the people in the store are fairly good at finding the books. Mm -hmm. Um, but then, uh, Tom and I are known for being able to find books that people just can't find. Okay. Like, they're just like, hey, can you find this book? And we're like, oh yeah, I know where that is. Okay. Yeah. People usually have problems finding world affairs. Is it because you guys just Fuck look at show. most of the stuff, or...? That, and we also have a grasp of how people's brains work, so when they don't know where to put something, we just we're kind of like, okay, this is actually like a psychology book that someone maybe accidentally put in, like, sociology. Okay. You know, we, we were good at hunting books now. I was like, it just stopped moving. And then nothing happened. Mm. It was because his Geodude wanted to fight me. Go spicy! Go get him with the bite. I gotta get- Spicy's gotta get like one attack that's not like fire or dark. Yeah. We have some variety. Have some luminosity. What the heck is this lake? I'm apparently here. Oh yeah, see, this is the resort. Drop your sweet key. The little collar emblem on Hunter's chest would make a cute hair clip. Oh yeah! The little, like, the little skull. Isn't it a little skull? It reminds yeah. me of like Death the Kid from Soul Eater. Hey! He's not letting me in. Okay, right. Sun Shore City has a blackout. Okay, so I can't get to the lake that way. Is this where the link is? I'm trying. I'm trying to remember. It's been a little while since I was over here. Okay, oh, this you can is surf now. Yeah. I can surf. Hounding right cosplay for Halloween, Roddy. I mean, I feel like I could definitely do it. It would probably just kind of look like this. Like it would be like a hoodie or onesie that I made into like a houndoom type design. Because I feel like I could do it, because I made that Mimicky one. You did. So the horns would be made of, like, a similar, um, material. Yeah, as yeah. As I did for the ears Squeak. for that. Are we actually going to get something other than Magikarp? Well, I think I already caught you. You don't seem like you count as a water type to me. I live near the water. Houndoom's standing on the water. Don't fuck with him. <laughs> yeah. 
He's Jesusing this shit. I should actually take Houndoom out of the front because I don't want him to die on accident. Mine! Exactly. When you see a seagull, you just think of mine, 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 mine. 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 Just forever, that's what we'll always think of. Okay, how do I get over there? Hey, you. You can have these if you stay away. He this just is doesn't want me to interrupt his, uh, his swimming. Thanks. The swimming laps. Thanks. Alright, I'll get out of your way. So that is in the process of rotating. Okay, I don't think I have a tentacle yet. And I should put him in the party. Some more Mass Effect. Ooh, nice! Have you been playing it at all? Okay, wait a second. I remember I bought a bunch of quick balls because I wanted to try and just throw the ball and catch him right away. Spend your birthday at Ball Sack's grave. We were watching Emily in Paris yesterday, and they made a reference to the writer Ball Ballzack. Yep. And they're like, so for her birthday, my favorite character Luke was like, oh, "Would you would you like to go eat lunch at my favorite place?" And took her to Ballsack's grave. Yep. Yep. I love Luke. What should I call him? Ballsack. How do you spell it though? Like the it's author? B A L Z C Z A K. Let me make sure. C Z A K. Uh, B A L Z A K. Ah. What? B A L Z A C. D A C. Yeah, the writer Henri the Balzac. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's his name. He wrote a famous play <laughs> called. Uh, oh no, K. Okay. No, no, K. Okay, yeah. It's like La Historie Humaine or Humaine. Um, I guess I'm gonna get rid of Rapidash for now because we just don't need two fire types in the party. I just <laughs> Balzac. I just need a water type, and he needs to evolve. So we're gonna yeah. I didn't even move. You, you to... freaking seagull! Get out of here! I want to fight. How many episodes are there in Emily in Paris? We have four more left. Like we could realistically finish the season if you wanted to. I'm surprised we just got to the part where the other love interest is introduced. I thought he'd be introduced like way sooner, but he I guess they had like to. A dick. He does seem like a dick, but that's like a common trope. I feel like. Really good special defense. Okay, so he's a good one to have in the party. He's no Gabriel. I, I I do like Gabriel. A hidden move could let me scale. See, I don't know what do I need to climb that. But I also really like. Can I change which Pokemon is my Surf Pokemon? I don't think so. I think they just give you all. I features. would like I would like to ride on Gyarados instead. The 8th gym. Oh, okay. So I can't get to that stuff until after I beat all the gyms. I just love that Houndoom is just standing on top of the water. He's just vibing. But can you turn the water into wine? That's Bibarel. I don't know if that's how you pronounce the Pokemon's name, because I've never heard it pronounced. No, that's Big Bidoof. Big Bidoof. Yep. I gotta figure out my way around here. In my head canon, all Pokemon who have evolved are actually just the older brothers of the little Pokemon. Okay. A barrel of water. B barrel. Barrel. B barrel. Barrel. I don't know. I'm trying to. I don't know why I'm trying to say it weird. Still. B barrel. I wanted to sound like the bad <laughs> like a fancy. Like a brand of sparkling water. Like a brand of sparkling water. Oh my god, that would actually be something in the Pokemon universe, though, I feel like. Be bad sparkling yeah. water. Um, see that lady? Yeah. She was tore up all over the place. Alright, this might be dangerous for Spicy, an actual trainer. That Pokeball is huge! Did I you was see like, that? I think it's a beach ball that looks like a Pokeball. Yeah, I actually sent that to John, because that group was good. I like them. Hmm. 
you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and swap to Sparkle, because I don't want I don't want Spicy to die. We'll forfeit our first turn so that we can really kick butt the next couple of days. Play rough. How dare you? Yeah, that's exactly why. I like Ian talk and I talk about this sometimes where it's like we don't understand when people are just like, I'm not gonna listen to or watch this thing because it's not in my native language. Yeah. And it's just like, but you could like still you enjoy could still it. enjoy it, you know, yeah. like you don't like if you were listening to music, it still has a beat that you could enjoy and it might get you interested in the language. Or like if you were watching a movie or something, you can watch with subtitles. Yeah. Like, I mean, we've been watching Swedish movies, so. Yeah, we've been watching sweet. Well, so is Harmony, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It could just be like another instrument. Oh, the instrument. voice is definitely an instrument. Yeah, yeah. And I just don't understand when people are like, I don't watch anything unless yeah. it's in like my native language, you know, and that's it. Yeah. And I'm like, you must be so boring. Most people are. What do you what do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? Good job. He landed a critical hit. I just new podcast. Hey, thanks. Hey, thank you. Yeah. I actually I like I said it in the podcast, I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was going to. That book. Yeah, read the translation. I don't know what they're saying. Just look it up. That's why they have the lyrics for you to search. Nummy. <laughs> but I felt like that was a good book, both for discussion and for... That was a good book. I I feel like um, we should definitely, like... I mean, we should be doing this. Take into consideration books that will lead to... Good conversation. More like... Not in depth necessarily, but like almost like philosophical type discussions, yeah, or like yeah. you know something that's not just strictly like, oh, this is what the plot of it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, I, th I would, I feel like I would recommend that book to people. Yeah, I mean, because it's mean, not like a super long investment, and then it gets weird. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the next book is called The Night Circus. It's a book by Aaron Morgenstern, and I picked it. It's a fantasy romance. Not, it's not like, I don't think it's actually called a romance genre, is it? Or is it called romance? I don't know, because there's like a paranormal romance genre now, so that's like what I, in my head, it It's is. like romance, but not the romance kind where you would find it in a romance section where it's like smut, you know? It's like romance type thing. And Cal is curious about the Night Circus. I have already started reading it, and I really like it so far. Um... Ooh, you know what? Actually, Harmony, can you send it to me? Because I was thinking of an idea for this book for me posting on the Twitter, what I would do is like maybe make a small playlist or even just post songs from Spotify that I thought of as I was yeah. reading oh, the book yeah, like as a like a way to like, to like set you in the mood as you're like reading it. So like, I'm like looking for ideas for stuff like that. Yeah. So, I mean, I'll give you a You just listen. reminded me, Steve Father finished the final book of the Dreamer Trilogy today. I saw, I saw them post about it, yeah. I'm so excited for to see the cover frogs comes up from my collection. But yeah, so far, I, I've started the Night Circus. It's about two dueling magicians who train their protégés to battle out in some sort of competition for their rivalry. I'm still in the very beginning, so I don't really know what exactly they are battling for. <laughs> Um, but I can already tell it's got that, like, angsty, like, romance vibe, too, where it's like, you know, she's lived, like, a hard, hard life, and so yeah. is he, so is he, but not, like, not as much as she has, and... It's not a competition. We've all suffered. And, but it's like, and then their two worlds, like, collide, because they're, like, fated to fight each other or whatever, you know? And I'm, I'm, I'm excited to read more of it, so... Hey, where the frick am I supposed to 
us to go. What the heck? Oh, um, Thursday, are we going to go see Midnight or Nightmare Alley? Um, I probably am having, well, Thursday during the day. We could potentially. I meant, yeah, I meant like at like 3.30 or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that essay was for, um, so it's for a place called the Comics Cabinet. And there was a 1999 issue of John Constantine the Hellblazer in which he has been called to America by a friend to investigate school shootings because they're happening more and more frequently and, some, and they think it's paranormal. So Constantine essentially finds out that like, like, he, like he comes to America and he's like, nah, you fucking weirdos are just all obsessed with guns. Um, so I wrote a uh, essay, a thousand word essay, using that comic to compare statistics of gun violence from 1999 to 2019 and 2020. It was it was really interesting. I didn't know that there was a John Constantine story like that. Although, like reading the article you wrote about it, it kind of fits for his character, I guess, you know, the way yeah. that they write his stories. Yeah. I mean, and it's just really sad to think about, you know, the state of our country. Yeah. So. Because he, you know, he's an Englishman, because in 1994, they had that major revamp of English gun laws, and now they're one of the lowest... Yeah. Violence yeah, tomorrow. because and before they did that in England, it was like a problem. Oh, but like yeah. it was here, because like the neighbors would just like shoot each other, you know, because yeah, yeah. like everybody had like a, a gun or something. Um, but then here we are, still. Yeah. Still just be in America. This is America. Yep, just like Childish Gambino says. Anyway. But yeah, um, they're doing custom art for it, I guess. Do you think they're gonna have you do... Is this, like, something you're gonna be, like, monthly involved in, or is it, like, Not a... monthly, but basically they've already asked if I want to do more. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. I have to think of something to do, though. Like, I kind of want to do this as a comic called The Undiscovered Country that I ran a few, read a few, um... My <laughs> private beach? She gave um, me a party sticker? That I read a few issues of that was really cool. And I kind of like the write about like how isolation can lead to like interesting innovation, I guess. Like I art. Okay. Cause like the comic is about like this family that lives in the middle of nowhere. And I think the dad is like senile, but he's actually been or the grandfather isn't like seen now, but he's actually like like a god who has chosen to not live amongst the gods anymore and live alone because he's like tired of their bullshit and they, Okay. Like, he's kinda of, and like then like you know, it's like God starts showing up. It's really weird. Yeah, it does sound weird. Yeah. But I liked it. Okay. So early two thousands K pop. So I mean like Lots of babies, you know, like baby <laughs> type sounds in there. I do have and, like, to say, there is K-pop I like of foreign music. Uh huh. I think K-pop and like order, like I don't really like Spanish music that much usually. Like I just get kind of bored. Mm. But I got the grant. I haven't heard like a ton of it. Um, but then it's like Spanish music, K-pop, J-rock, French pop. Okay. Like my rankings. And obviously that's not all the music in the world. Right, right, right. Yeah. But like sometimes, like I hear like K-pop, I'm like just go. We're just like hard. Russian, like uh, dub basement like music that are like in the clubs. I right. you mean like? No, not that. <laughs> it dips its large bill in the sea and scoops up numerous prey. I don't think I've ever listened to a Russian song. Oh no? Yeah. Go to the box, Pelipper. I don't want you in my party. I don't know where I'm supposed to go now, because... There's just this girl on this beach. And then it's like a dead end. I thought this was the lake, but maybe it's not? 
Maybe I have to get in the water from that side? Maybe. It's gonna be annoying. I gotta fight my way back. Well, look at the map and see where it tells you to go. I think I can kill you. What's the the Pokemon that's like a Hitmonchan spinoff and he breakdances? Hitmonlee? No, Hitmontop. Hitmontop. Hitmonlee is the one that kicks. Well, you asked me! I know, but you told me the, the obvious one, that's not right. Um, Wait, did you know the answer, or were you, did you need to know? It took me a second to figure it out in my head. <laughs> oh. I was opening the filing cabinets, like, frantically oh searching God. for information. Alright, well, next time I just want to answer Like, the little husky like, that lives oh. in my head was opening shit up. Oh, huskies can't open stuff. They can, they have mouths. I mean, they probably can. I need They're... you to put that down gently. <laughs> 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 oh, that was a great video. Oh, dogs are so naughty. <laughs> um, but, uh, I, I was just thinking of how, like, I was like, which Pokemon would make, like, the best K-pop backup dancer guy? Hit my top. Yeah, probably. He made the background break dancing. Oh, wait, I already went over here. Surfing! You wanna say? Yep. I can't remember, is there somewhere I can rest here? To, like, get my HP back up. I think if I talk to, like, concierge... Maybe. She, like, lets me rest, you know? Yeah. Get the quick attack. I got him with the bite. I've almost... So, on Hover, I've already got more followers than I do on TikTok. Okay. If that says anything about... How oh, hover works. That it's better? Yeah. Oh, wait, let me look at the map. Are there algorithms? Okay, I am below where I need to be. Is more discoverable. Like, like it's it's less about, like, you know, because TikTok's one of the way it works. Is they send you out to a few people, and if those people like your video, then they send out to more people, similar mm -hmm. to them, you know? Mm -hmm. Whereas hover, it, it seems like the algorithm more complex. Well, and I mean, like, Hover is also geared towards specifically other streamers, right? True, but, like, some TikTok content, like, like, Hover doesn't tend to post the ones that's just, like, a girl being, like, ooh. Yeah. It's more, like, people, the only, my, like I said, the only two issues I have about Hover content I've seen are the ones where the, it's just, like, a person dead silent. And they haven't done any editing on the video, and they're just shooting a gun at people. Like, it's just boring. And then the ones where they're just, like, the, the traditional TikTok-style videos. Yeah. Yeah, if you look at the map, it should give you some... I don't know. What's happening at Lake Valor? So where is Lake Valor? It, oh, I'm, like, right... See, the, the thing is right on my head. Oh, okay. So you're slightly below it. I don't know where the freaking lake is, though. Like, I tried to go over here before, but... I can kind of see some blue to the, the left. Oh, here it is. I forgot. Uh -huh. They make it these, like, dark little paths between the trees. Oh, listen oh. to the Oh! Your accent. I'm ready. Ha 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 ha! Next stop, Lake Verde. The closest thing to civilization out there. I don't know, I don't feel like this is the right, but... Is that Hicktown Twin Leaf. We can roll in there completely unopposed. Is that, is that all he says to me? I think he was like, alright, bye. He is not even saying it to me, he's just talking out loud. Magikarp! Uh, are you okay, bro? Oh, oh, the lake I is think dried I'm out. I'm in the lake. I'm in the lake, but it's been destroyed. Would you like to join the magic hop and flop around in the mud? If you insist. <laughs> it's a weird fetish. Blam meow. I'm jealous that you have that Pokemon. I want it. I'm gonna steal. I'm gonna flick the flip the script. I'm gonna steal your Pokemon. Does Team their Galactic. I feel like their tail must hurt. No, it's just naturally like that. Right, Luna? Oh, 
Pearl Gun. Sure, I'll switch. Bring out Sparkle. Sparkle. Her time to shine. A horrifying sound. Alright. Hit him with the... Oh. Is that super effective against you? I thought you would be water type, but maybe you're like poison something else? Alright, Luna. I'm sorry. Your big booty is so heavy. I can't say comfortably. One of my friends, because he's been quarantined because he got COVID, has been reviewing critiques of his plays that he's written over the last 15 years. Okay. And this is one of the critiques someone sent him. Okay. Depressing. Just depressing and fatalistic. None of these characters have anything to live for and therefore no wish to live and are beyond the state of despair. Not even the Christian god about whom it is said that nothing is impossible is capable of healing these characters. Nor would they want to be healed. The play is devoid of any happiness to say nothing of joy in life as are the characters. Wow. Somebody wrote that about his? Yeah. He also recently wrote a play about, um, uh, it's a gym stakeout musical. Hey. It all takes place at a gym stakeout. I was like, what is it about? I haven't been to a gym stakeout in a while. I mean, I guess it's like, if it's like an indie play, it doesn't really have to be about anything, right? It's a Because that's yeah. kind of the point of indie movies, is they're not really Army about has anything. Returned. They just exist. You missed all our awesome commentary about which Pokemon would be the best backup K-pop dancer. Was that during the time Harmony was gone? Yeah. I, I realized after, I was like, Harmony would have good answers to this. And like, it w I would pick, like, a cutesy one, honestly. But you picked Hip on top? Yeah, they'd be out there breakdancing. Yeah. Every time um, kids come into work to buy K-pop CDs now, like I, when they're in there, I just go BLACKPINK! And they just like are like, what? And I just walk away. Oh boy. Who's learning crunch? Crunch. Pistachio is gonna learn crunch? Okay, it's just a strictly better... No, because it doesn't always make them flinch. It they... says may also. Oh wait, this is Yeah, but Crunch the... doesn't. But Crunch lowers the special defense. I mean, I guess I could get rid of, like, Mega Drain. Because I don't really use that one that much. And I could have two dark moves. Ta-da! Also, Harmony, you're going to get to hear Ronnie's great Swedish accent. <laughs> yeah, great. Rot. Rot. 1k Pokemon at once. There are a lot of them now. It's crazy. I think it's Hitmontop. So you're tough. A big deal. What do you think you can accomplish? There's one of you up against the entirety of Team Galactic. By now, another crew should be on their way to Lake Verity near that puny little Twin Leaf town. Aren't we from Twin Leaf? Yeah. Okay. Is there anything over here? There's a big hole. Uh, there's a lot of Magikarp. Yeah, there is a lot of Magikarp. Oh, I think this is the building they were talking about. Let's find this guy first, though. I was trying to click on it, and then he it wasn't let, he wasn't turning around. So. He was ignoring you. He was ignoring me. You guys aren't that tough. Get bit. Can't believe I just spent all that time swimming around that area and that wasn't even where I was supposed to be. Well, let's just be a lesson to you. Stop and ask you for directions. Know, uh, so for dinner, I bought um, these like pre made meals that they have at the grocery store because I'm always curious about them, but I've never tried them because I didn't think that they would actually be good, you know? But I decided today, might as well try them. So I got. For me, it was a shrimp meal over, like, uh, basil gnocchi. Pesto. It was a basil pesto shrimp over, like, gnocchi. And then 
I got Ian a peri peri shrimp over rice mm-hmm. meal, and you just like put them in the oven and then serve them. That's basically how they're made. Um, and they're pretty. Mine was pretty good. Yeah, like it tasted fine. The serving size is my only problem. Yeah, it was just kind of small, but I like didn't I... mind that too much because yeah, I've done the eleven thousand steps. I need more calories. I was gonna say I didn't mind it too much the serving size because I bought a tub of. Uh, chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream, so I'm planning to eat that later. <laughs> with Emily in Paris, is what you're saying? Sure, with Emily in Paris. How are we gonna get over Camille and Gabrielle fighting without ice cream? I don't know. Do you think they're gonna get back together? Or no. do you think Do you think they're gonna get back together and then Emily's gonna decide, actually, I do want to date Gabrielle because she's gonna have this fling with the new guy. Yeah, with the and then, guy. And then he's gonna, like... That guy's gonna like be a jerk or something, which uh, you can obviously Just tell. Now, but yeah. like Emily's gonna he be. He was stupid. like, I knew you'd be back, and I was like, this asshole. And then, and then she's gonna be like, after like her fling with him, she's gonna be like, I gotta go back to Gabrielle, and then ruin Camille and Gabrielle actually yeah. getting back together again. We're Team Galactic, the number one syndicate in the world. To defy us is to defy the universe. Look at all these flopping. I want to help these magic carp. So, do I? Somebody use a water attack so that it fills up with water here. Okay, but really, I want to use a potion. Get a little healed up, and then uh, we'll go talk to this guy. What do you want? Are you one of those nitwits we fooled into guarding the entrance? But it doesn't even matter who you are. It's too late to make a difference. Things are going to get really interesting now. All the legendary Pokemon are going to be brought to our HQ in Veilstone City. Man, this guy's just giving up all the information. I didn't even, like, fight him or anything yet. Oh, alright, I guess that was it. Well, alright, you know what? The legendary Pokemon are going to be brought there. Good to know. Alright, what ha what happens if I go in this building? What's in here? Oh, it's this guy. The mission is proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Oh, maybe that's not the guy that I thought it was. Everything is for everyone and for the good of Team Galactic. Oh, this is a, a lady? I recognize your face. You're the child who raided Team Galactic's building in Eterna City. Hmm, Jupiter should be ashamed of herself being beaten by a child like that. But anything and anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. Even the very thought of opposition will not be tolerated. The Galactic- the Shining G sign is so good. Oh no, it's a- it's a guy. Saturn! Okay, I don't think I've seen them yet. Alright, Kadabra, get ready to be firefanged. Get ready to be beat up, actually, because it's super effective, so we're doing that instead. Uh... Okay, well, I'll beat him up, too. It's probably fine. Oh, no, it's not fine. Please don't kill my dog! Oh, no. I like how when I fight the these guys... Like, the commander rank people, they have, like, the whole planetary system behind them. Okay, who do we think's good against him? I mean, Pistachio's probably just a solid choice, because he's so strong. The guitar riff that happens. Yo, you just punched my turtle! Uh, how about an earthquake? I feel like that's effective. Oh, jeez. Absolutely destroyed. Luna's back. I am back. Balzac just leveling up! On read the balls in. I will switch. I will bring Spicy back out. 
Here she comes. She, she's like, oh, are you sitting down? Perfect. I would like I to sit here. I was going to put the granola in my lap, <laughs> Luna, but instead no. you're here. She's like, you'll put the Luna in your lap. You put the Luna in your lap and you mix it all together. Yep. Alright, now I will, I will bite. Sparkle. Level enough. Bronzer. I think I want to keep spicy, right? Yeah. It's a ball, Luna. You can come over here, but I'm not changing how I'm sitting, Luna. Look at this fluffy, fluffy tail. It's so fluffy. Luna, look at your fluffy tail! Oh, I'm trying to eat granola. <laughs> she wants your attention. Uh oh. Uh -oh. You're confused. Yeah, I got confused. And now you're just slapping yourself around. I wish I wasn't. Okay, there we go. I think this was his last one? Stop that. She's like, don't tell me what to do, you're not my mom! Do you think uh, Luna and Gizmo ever feel that way when you're like, you're reprimanding them? They're like, you're not mom! You can't- you can't tell me what to do! A child like you will never be able to stem the flow of time. Team Galactic will get the three legendary Pokémon of the lakes. With their power, we will create an entirely new universe. By now, Mars should have captured the Pokémon of Lake Verity. Okay, this is just a big empty hole. This guy was just standing in here. Like... Being excited about his victory. Yep. Okay. Well, the one guy that was over here is gone, but this guy is still standing there. This music is like. Oh no. Oh, it's a squad. Oh no. Okay. You think about the first human who discovered that you can make peanut butter? God. Must have been an incredible day. <laughs> Don't we- we know who invented peanut butter, right? Like, it was invented, like, well, at least it was trademarked, like, more recently, you know? Yeah. I can't remember who it was, but I feel like it happened more recently. Okay, where am I going now? Hell. I'm going back, uh, to my hometown. Thank you. Your house. Friend's house. That's all that's in town. <laughs> yep, that's it. We're a very, very, very small town. Do you think we have a really good or really horrible education? Mm. You know what? I guess I should have went to a Pokemon Center you know, first. Honestly, probably pretty good, right? There's two kids in the whole town and one professor. That's like an incredible teacher to class ratio. <laughs> That's true, there is a professor in this town. I didn't even think of that. Or wait, can I sleep in my bed to... Talk to your mom. Is this my house, I think? Okay, so I didn't need to waste those potions, but I did want to get the... the attack... what are they called? The attack points back. Oh, PP. The PP. You gotta get that PP up. Madame PP. Yeah. Remember at the beginning of Sword and Shield when you go into the woods and like a freaking demon dog is there? Yeah. Hi, huh, Ronnie. What timing? These Team Galactic scoundrels are after the legendary Pokemon. Ronnie, hurry! You've got to help Lucas. Why don't you do something? You're actually an adult here. Ow! Ouch! What is- what the, 
I, I've, I've fallen out of it. I can't get back to the accent. I feel like, what's with this old timer? Now I'm doing like a black book accent. Oh, I didn't even notice you over there. It's a mission to stall you. Sorry, but we got to do our job. In order for us to bring peace to the world, we must control it. All right. Okay, this seems like a good- I, I know who's coming out first, so... Seems like a good pairing. For me. Get intimidated? I'm always intimidated. Oh yeah? I look in the mirror and I'm like, damn, that guy's hot. Wow. It must be hard to live a life being that cute. Yeah? Well, I, you would know, wouldn't you? Yeah. Customized moms, hell yeah. Oh, that would be cool. Or, or like... Or? Go ahead. All right, go. I was gonna say, or when you like picked what your character looked like, it would like change your mom so that she had similar features to whatever customization you picked. Well, I was gonna say it's like... Or the pick what kind of parental figure you had, right? Because like, what if you're like a kid? If I'm like a broken homie, you're like, I don't want to play a game where my mom is here. I never knew my mom. I want my dad. I want my dad. I want a pokey dad. Alright, let's use Fire Fang. And then let's use a uh, Spark. Oh, I don't have anything super effective here. They did that for this game? For this one? What? Oh, the mom changes how they look depending on who... What you pick for your I characters? I didn't know that. I, I didn't know that either. That's very cool. That is cool. But it would be cool if you could, like, customize your mom. And then you could <laughs> be like, do I got a MILF? Or do I got, like, you know, the round, welcome to my home, here's a plate of cookies, I mama? would make the mom from Mean Girls. Or do I got... Just like, you need some condoms. <laughs> You'd make the mom from Mean Girls? Yeah. Oh my god. Amy Poehler? Yeah. Well, the default was closest to... to me. I, I, I don't know. Unfortunately. Ronnie is generic. I'm generic, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, hold on. Super effective against you, so let's... You're gonna attack this one. And then you're gonna attack this one. Oh man, the family group chat. I'm gonna have like 30 unread messages by the time Was I get off one again. a customization option in this game? I yeah, it gave it, you like four models. You, yeah, there's like four models and you picked which one. Mm. I mean, I guess you could just pick whichever one you wanted, but I just picked the one that looked the most like me, you know? Yeah. I guess I could have gone with the blonde or something, you know? I don't really ever play blonde characters or have any desire to play blonde characters. I had to live with a blonde girl for most of my life and I never want to again. Oh yeah? <laughs> okay, so this does 50. It 100% hit. Raises it raises the stat. the speed stat. I have not used faint at all. This is attack is really only good because it goes through moves like, yeah. like protect and detect, but I haven't used it at all so I'm going to replace it. Zach. <laughs> He's getting big. <laughs> Balzac's growing. <laughs> Losing was a part of my job, too. I feel better by saying that. You're too young to understand. How old are you? You're like 21. <laughs> Older than us, that's for sure, though. Still. We won't allow anyone to stop us from gathering the three Pokemon from the three lakes. Our boss always has plans for the three lakes. While you are blissfully ignorant, probably in the womb, honestly, at this point, like, I'm, like, ten years younger than you. Ah, what went ahead? Alright, we got another dual no, battle no. over yeah. here? Yeah. It's still <laughs> going. I'll knock your Pokemon in the orbit. If this mission is successful, we will get a nice bonus. By the way, Next Sunday, the Bills game is at 4.30. Next 
next Sunday, he said. What did you say? Next Sunday. The Bills game, game is at 4 30. Okay. So we can either do an early stream or a late stream, is what you're saying. Yeah. But we win, and the Bills win the division. So they're guaranteed to go... We are already in the playoffs, no matter what. ...to the playoffs, but they could be the top of their... Of the AFC East. Yeah. Which is, like, better seeding. I don't care about super effective. It seems like I'm taking these guys out. And also, we're playing the Jets, so... But... It'd just be satisfying to beat New York for, like, the third time this year. Oh, I see. I was talking about Pokemon and you were still talking about football. I just confused myself is what happened there. Yep. I like how Luna continues to come back. She's like, one of you will move into the position I want to be in at one point, and then I'm going to sit with you. Um. But yeah, so Two my- Two kitties? My plans for Thursday, right? Uh-huh. Um, I'm going to try and clear out my variety pack inbox. I've been trying to read at least two of those a day. Okay. Um, but I'm off there, so I'm gonna do that. Um, is to do that, and then we can go see, like, an earlier showing of Nightmare Alley, provided there's time. So what time is your session at? Well, I mean, if it's happening, it'll be at 7 p.m. Let me open the Regal app. The Regal app? Yeah, it's the app for people like me, Regal ones. Nightmare Alley, on Thursday. <laughs> the earliest, there's one showing at 12.45. And that's it? Yeah. Wow. Um, Alright, time to fight. So, like, I mean, if we go see that, and then see that if we want to. And then you would do your session, and I would watch the same thing. And then I would cry. Apparently our character doesn't remember this person. I do not remember that insane I don't know. Spike. You're all going down. Send it down so slowly. You were like... <laughs> you go like... <laughs> I'm just saying, I got... I'm battling. I'm doing a Pokemon battle. You, uh... You, uh... Offend the mic with your slamliness. Yeah. Your slamliness. <laughs> That's my new, my new title. Okay. No, it, he's it, gonna poison my dog. It fits you very well, though. Does it? Yeah. I don't think you actually slam things, but when you're doing dishes, you're like, <laughs> and like you slip. I'm trying to be quiet. Your slippiness. I do. I slip a lot. I splash a lot of water too. Oh, yes! Oh, the chonker. The queen. I want this Pokemon so bad for myself, but I've not found it yet in the wild. Look at how tanky it is. I just bit it, and it did nothing. My, uh... I have to switch out Pokemon after this. It just keeps growling at oh me. Oh my god. I have to send you this picture, Harmony. What? I don't get it. Ronnie is not a One Piece person. <laughs> oh no, how dare you eat a nut? Balzag eats a You're nut. You're rude! That was a Balzag! I know. How come other people never nickname their Pokemon? I don't know. Because they're not as cool. This is a tough cat. I'm gonna switch Pokemon because I don't know what I gotta do. Alright, we got anybody that has anything super effective? No. Then I'm putting out Pistachio because he's also the tankiest. Tank versus tank. Harmony does, obviously. Because we just hit Caramel. They nickname their Pokemon. Oh, yeah. No, I meant, like, NPCs. Oh. Oh, the NPCs! Oh, this yeah. This is Diamond, yeah. Yeah, this is Diamond. Which probably means 
or ugly doesn't exist in this universe. Oh. I'm guessing. But I want her. That's the sound of uh, her ugly is like the sound gives Mo makes when we're sleeping, but we can't like. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want Glen meow. What is? Do you need a specific Pokemon from Diamond? Yeah. Is there one that we could give you? I don't know. I don't think we've been doing very much Pokemon we, catching. We so. know what Harmony needs. Zubat. Zubat. <laughs> the most important Pokemon. Gilgar Dark under pulse. the cycling bridge. Sounds Gilgar. good. Okay, the cycling bridge. I know where that is. I think it, that this Dark Pulse is a better Sucker Punch? I'm gonna get rid of Sucker Punch. Gilgar? Gilgar. Right? Yeah. Balzac. Well, then, what is- what is- he's gonna learn Hex? Oh, Gligar. Oh! Yeah, it's G-L-I. See that now, yeah. I did not see that before. Sure, let's replace Raph with Hex. Sure. Oh yeah, I never checked my stocks today. Let's find it. Stocks? So uh, I'll keep I'll keep Pistachio out here for now. We know that he can take it. I made 241. Today. Okay. My stocks between my stocks and my 401k, I almost have like four thousand dollars. Um, what would we nickname it? Oh, we want to name it Luna. Luna or Ronnie wants to name yeah, it. Yeah, I want to name it Luna because it's a it turns into a big fluffy chalk just like Luna. So bronzer. Okay, then we'll put. Oh, Spicy's almost dead actually. Um, you know what? What? Farty? Get out there. Let's see. Let's see what you got. Are you worth keeping Isn't in the party, Farty? Type? I don't think those. Oh, no, it's poison. That's not gonna get. Or I guess steel. Steel? Yeah. Super effective! Damn. Yo, get him. Get him with your dark. Effective. Your dark part. <laughs> roger that. Roger, roger, roger. Damn, that's an insane looking move. What day? Does, Cursed body? What day does the next episode of the Book of Boba Fett? You know? Uh, I don't know. I don't know I what day it's released on. I need to know! It's probably Friday. I want more Boba. Because I feel like Disney was releasing a lot of the um, Star Wars stuff on Friday, right? I think so. January 5th. That's Wednesday? It is Wednesday. Should it be happening to Team Galactic Commander? Calm down, Mars. I've done my part in all this. My mission was to transport the lake's Pokemon to our HQ. That's right, I accomplished my mission without a problem. So you transported to the HQ and then you came back to the lake? Why? No, I think they could like teleport it. Team, we're pulling out. The boss is waiting at the, the HQ. Boss heck, we're pulling out. <laughs> <laughs> the Pokemon of the Three Lakes are connected somehow. Thanks to Saturn's grandstanding at Lake Valor, the cavern appeared here. It was a cavern where the Pokemon Mespirit slept? The spirit appeared too, probably to go help its friends. That worked out well for us. It was super easy to catch. So now we've got them all. Mespirit, the being of emotion. Azelf? Azelf? The being of willpower. Uxie? Yuxie? Uxie? The being of intelligence? I know the chat can't see it because we're sitting in front of it. Uxie? Now that we have all three, you can look forward to what Team Galactic has in store for them. This also occurred at Lake Valor. Another legendary Pokemon was taken away by Team Galactic. Both of you went up against full-fledged criminals. The fact that you're unharmed is reason enough to celebrate. Yeah, you're sending children. <laughs> children to do this! Is Ian safe? I've never been safe in my life. Oh, no. He's not here. 
He's dead. I guess we just gotta the go game, find the him. The tone shifts. He's just it like pans over to his body. I guess. I guess we just are supposed to go find you. 